Hello, everybody, artist out there. It's time to draw. I've got my Sharpies, my paper. I've got a plate of Christmas candy and, of course, stuff to color with. So grab your materials. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to draw are the Brock's Christmas tree candies, and I'm going to spread them out around my paper. I want some of them to go off the page, um, and that will create an interesting composition when there's repetition, where they're repeating, and where some of them are all the way on the page and some are going off the page. So I'm gonna start with this one right here, and I'm gonna draw it here, and I want it to be enlarged so that it's larger than the actual size. So right now I'm drawing a contour drawing. That is the outside edges that I see. I'm trying to have my pen and my eye work together to follow these lines. After I finish the contour drawing, I'm gonna set down that fine point Sharpie and grab my ultra fine in order to add in all of the details. So first I'm looking at the details in the plastic, in the wrapper, and then now I'm going to look at the details in the candy. And then we've also got the lettering on the plastic. And then of course, the green tree part of the candy. Okay, there's my first one done. Now I could take this same candy, flip it over, change the angle and put it over here. I notice that some of the candy, this one actually has a big indention out of it. This has a big hole. Those might actually be the interesting part to draw as well. Switch back to the fine point and let's draw another one. Remembering to go larger than life size. That candy kind of goes in right there. Now switch back over. We're gonna be doing a lot of switching today, I think, as we draw all this candy. It's funny how these candies are made in big factories and sometimes the machines mess up. And so here this candy has a big chunk that looks like it was eaten. Well, this is my childhood favorite candy, but I wonder what types of candy you like. What are your favorites? Do you have ones that you love to have during the holiday season? I think we need one more, maybe this one right here. And this one we'll put all the way on the page. again. Okay, there's three of them on there now. Let me pop them back on the plate. <clears throat> and the next 
next thing are the gumdrops, which of course the purple one, which is licorice, is my favorite. Um, black licorice, that is, not red licorice flavored. And then the spearmint for the green ones. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw these bigger than they are in real life. And I'm gonna to wanna to add on all those sugar crystals. But of course, if we drew every one, it would be kind of messy in the end. So just adding a few little dots, maybe some circles that look like sugar crystals or partial circles. All right, we better do quite a few more of them. So let's just spread them on the page and Okay, so these ones kind of point this way. I think we need one more down here that points up, and that's bringing the viewer's eye towards the inside of the page. And then maybe this one can go up this way. Okay, whoops, I can see that my size kind of varied throughout the piece. That, that's probably enough of them unless I want one more up in that corner. Notice I didn't get any that go off the page, so I might wanna go back and do that. Then I don't feel like this candy is just flying everywhere. sugar on my paper. <laughs> okay, let's see, maybe one more here. All right, that's enough gumdrops. Let's move on. What will be next on my page? Candy canes. We couldn't go without the candy canes, so let's pop one right here in the middle. And right now I'm drawing that outside plastic wrapper. And then let's get the candy cane in there. Okay, we've got a lot of details to add with our fine point Sharpie. Starting with this little um, crimped part or something, I kind of wonder if they heat that up to seal the two layers. And we're gonna be drawing right over that candy cane. And then there's a seam that runs along here. And then this part, <clears throat> excuse me. And I, I'm not drawing exactly every one of these lines as I view it. Instead, sometimes I start to just make it look kind of like what it, I don't know, how I feel it looks. Um, it's really good to do observational drawing where you're really paying attention and noticing, but sometimes I feel a little rushed. I don't want to make this an hour long video. So feel free to take as long as you want noticing every single detail. All right, the candy cane, we've got the wrapper, the plastic part, a few of the reflections from the plastic, and let's draw another candy cane. We're gonna need another one. Put one right up here. Oh, 
Well, if you don't have any Christmas candy in your house, after drawing these, you're gonna really wanna go out and get some. Switching back over to my fine point. That scene kind of disappears into the bright light, so I won't draw the rest of the scene. Okay, there's two candy canes. Now, for balance, it almost feels like I need a third down here off the page. Um, and I think we could just, actually, I'll push that candy cane and just get this part. And we'll let that end point kind of back towards this other one here. These candy canes make me think of those really large giant ones that you can buy like at Dollar Tree and stuff that take forever to eat or we've bought them and crushed them to put in a hot chocolate. Um, really like hot chocolate with peppermint. Maybe you even wanna pause this video and go grab yourself a cup of hot chocolate now if you have them. Uh, maybe some marshmallows on top, some whipped cream, all that good fun stuff. Sweets and more sweets in the holiday season. Okay, I've got my candy canes now. I've got my Christmas tree candies and gumdrops. What next? I love these little sixlets. Um, and I love that they have a round shape. And of course, they're in plastic, so that's going to make them a challenge to draw but let's let's add them right in this space my favorite part about eating six licks is popping them out of the container into my mouth There's real little reflections on here as well as some writing on the plastic. So I don't think I'm going to be able to write all these letters. Instead, I'm just going to make some little messy marks that maybe could look like writing, but not legible. Okay, I think that's gonna look a lot better once I add uh, the coloring to it, but that's all right, I'll stop for now. I've also got a piece of black licorice here that we're gonna, well, I better think about, yeah, this can go here and then the licorice there. So there we go, let's do that. All right, let's get that licorice in here. This is a little tricky to just do only the contour drawing because it comes out and in on the sides. All right, switch markers. licorice and then we better get this lollipop right in here this is actually a candy cane tootsie pop i've never tried them but they look delicious so i had to get them the wrapper meets up with 
lollipop stick. Okay. Ooh, look at all that writing on the front. We better switch markers. Now, I could turn it around so I could see part of the stripe, and I think I'm going to because I'd really like to see this part of the lollipop that has the Tootsie Pop part where this little ridge and then this line. There we go. Plastic. Now my plastic at the top changed, but that's all right. I can make it look like it was like this the whole time. All right, there's the Tootsie Pop. Now the last things that are on my plate, I've got the red and white candies and I've got some lifesavers. So I can decide if I wanna fill those in, maybe just a few of them here and there. And I kind of think I want them without their wrapper here. So let's go ahead and add a few in here. It look like it it really needs its color what if it was at an angle kind of upright I could I could do that let's see what that looks like gotta have a little fun sometimes okay that one not my favorite that's all right maybe we need one overlapping up here at the top oh I just noticed what I did is I only used my fine point. So let's go back and fix that up. All right. How about the lifesaver? Let's add a few lifesavers. doesn't need much for details there so we'll just add a little bit um, and then if you squint your eyes you can look around your page and say hmm where is there blank space that needs something more and I really feel like it's well balanced and I could stop there and add all of the fun colors.